Hey guys, Pred here, and today I'm bringing you guys another BO2 commentary, so let's get right into it. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how I almost got in a fight with this little fag boy, Connor Smith. So, uh, yeah, this kid... This kid acts like he fucking knows everything. He acts like he's cool because he has a damn six-pack. You know, starts at his fucking nipples, like, for God's sake. So, uh, this kid really, really aggravates me. And, um, what he did is, you know, talking some shit. He doesn't really, he just played football so he could, you know, I guess, talk to the cheerleaders or some shit. Because the kid sucked ass. All he wanted to do was just fucking sat there with his gray ass hair. You know, just, huh. I'm just gonna enjoy football so I can look cool and show every person at my fucking middle school that I have a six pack. And then this little fucking bitch, you know, came up to me and was like, hey. And I'm like, yo. And he said, you talking shit? And I said, well, you know, you kind of fucking brag about your six pack. And then, shit. This was before football started, so, you know, I had the, we had lockers right next to each other. We were fucking locker right next to each other. So, what happened is, me and a couple friends would always go like, SIX PACK! And fucking scream that everywhere we saw him. Oh no, he gets so pissed. <laughs> and, uh, it came to the point where this little fuck boy was starting to talk shit about me so I was like mm, okay so you know we started spitting fire at each other and sadly this nigga thought he was cool to fucking be a bitch because all he wanted to do is brag and brag and brag and in football, we do this thing called Oklahoma, where we line up uh, about four yards from each other, and just uh, one of us has a football, and one of us has to tackle him. Then we're laying on the ground, and the faster one to get up, tackle him, gets to fucking truck them. So uh, the coaches and like all the football players are standing around watching, because we watch every single one, and. Uh, you know, a lot of people knew that I had some beef with this kid. So, we, uh, kind of got up there. I had the ball first, because I didn't want to look like a little fucking bitch. So, blew the whistle, and this kid's not fast. He, he fucking runs like he has a stick up his ass, but, you know, he's not really that fast. Because, you know, he has gray hair. But, it's... But, you know, he just fucking, <laughs> he got up, stood straight up, looked me in the damn eye, fucking <laughs> got his ass handed to in front of everyone, and the coaches heard, clack, clack, <laughs> and that was our fucking shoulder pads sliding, mine. Oh dude, I hit him right in the fucking shin. It felt amazing about it. Nothing in life has been so dang accomplished. So, then, a few days later, I was told, yeah, I was going to go my quarterback. I'm going to quarterback. I started crying because I would not stop doing it. <laughs> and then a couple weeks later, we fucking stopped being bitches to each other. And then uh, we like, good game, Jackson. And a lot of 
locker room. Arm are bigger than your mouth. The words that come out of your mouth. Stank eye. 